President Bola Tinubu says the removal of fuel subsidy will free up for collective use much needed resources which had hitherto been pocketed by a few rich persons. The President spoke on Monday on the public holiday which commemorates June 12th, which was redesignated Democracy Day in 2018 by the administration of former President Muhammadu Buhari. He urged Nigerians to bear the burden in order to save the country from going under and take the country's resources away from the stranglehold of a few unpatriotic elements. Kainde Amudu now reports. June 12 was designated a public holiday to remember the struggles to reclaim the mandate of Moshud Abiola, who has been acknowledged as winning the annulled 1993 elections. It took 25 years before a federal government in Nigeria could admit to the disservice done to the winner of the elections, which was annulled by the military hunter of President Ibrahim Babangida. Abiola died in government custody, struggling to reclaim his mandate. And ironically, 30 years after the annulment, one of those in the vanguard of the struggle is the president of Nigeria. It is ironical because the legitimacy of President Tinumbu is being challenged in court. However, the president believes this is a process that will strengthen democracy. It is only natural that even as those who won and experienced victory in various elections are elated and fulfilled, those who lost are disenchanted and disappointed. But the beauty of democracy is that those who win today can lose tomorrow. And those who lose today will have an opportunity to compete and win in the next rounds of election. Another thing that will strengthen democracy is a vibrant judiciary that can be trusted to deliver justice and strengthen institutions. This is why Tinumbu says the bill to harmonize retirement age for judicial officers was recently signed into law. For Chief M.K. Abiola, the symbol of this day, in whose memory June 12 became a national holiday, democracy is eternal. It is about rule of law and vibrant judiciary that can be trusted to deliver justice and strengthen institutions. It has become imperative to state here that the unnecessary illegal orders issued to truncate or abridge democracy will no longer be tolerated. But the elephant in the room is the removal of fuel subsidy, which the president acknowledges has brought additional pain to the people. I admit the decision we impose extra body on the masses of our people. I feel your pain. This is one decision we must bear to save our country from going under. This year's cycle of elections were the seventh in what the president describes as a sacred ritual of democratic practice since 1999. From the federal capital, Kenya Amodu, Trust TV News.